team, I hope you're well. Today I'm filming something that I get asked for all the time. Don't know why it's taking me this long, but here it is. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I style my hair. My go-to look is like a wavy, bouffanty, kind of bardo fringe type of hairstyle, which I've been doing for so long now. But today I'm gonna to be showing you how I do the look. You would not believe how easy it is as well. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and some of the products I use to style my hair as well. This is not sponsored, just a video that I know that I should have made a long, long time ago. So I obviously start by brushing my hair. I have two brushes that I absolutely love. First up is a tangle teaser and the second is a wet brush. These are both amazing for detangling your hair. My hair is super thick. It gets super matted as well just because it's bleached and it can be a bit dry and damaged. So both of these brushes do an amazing job of brushing my hair without like pulling too much hair out as well. wash my hair yesterday and let it dry naturally and this is kind of what it looks like a little bit kinky a little bit wild not very tame I am gonna be making a whole separate video on how I keep my hair in good condition and how I've grown it this long despite it being bleached so much also the products I use to keep it nice and like light and silver blonde so yeah if you want to know like my favorite hair masks for keeping hair really soft and shampoo and conditioner I use and stuff like that, then stay tuned, be sure to subscribe because that will be coming up in a couple of weeks time. But for now I'm just gonna focus on curling. So, oh, get a lot of questions about this. These are the curlers I use. Oh, they're from GHD. I will leave a link to them down below, but they are the best curlers I've ever used. They really do an incredible job of holding my hair in place and leaving me with really gorgeous curls. I think this is like a medium barrel. I've had these for about two years now and they're amazing, well worth the money. So I start by separating my hair and literally clipping it up so I have a section. I kind of do three sections of hair per side. And I've been doing this for so long now that I've got it down to a T. I can curl my hair in about 10 minutes and be ready to go out the door. Not from wet though, that takes a little bit longer. So I just clamp the hair at the bottom, turn the wand round, kind of move it down a bit so make sure I've got all the hair in. And I try not to leave it on my hair too long because I'm very wary about damage and I don't want to cause excess. And then I'm left with this kind of nice curl. So I'm gonna do a couple more bits so you can see. It's kind of hard doing this without a mirror. I should have thought about that. And it's up to you whether you stop the curlers kind of half halfway down the hair or all the way up to the top like this one. I like to do a bit of both. So this is what it looks like. I make sure I always go the same direction of the kind of barrel so that they're all, all the ways are facing the same way. I'm gonna do a tiny bit more of this one. And another thing I should say is I do slightly thicker sections underneath because I know that they're not gonna be seen as much. And then as I work my way up, the sections of hair get slightly smaller so they the wave is more defined. Hairspray wise, to set this in place, I switch between whatever I've got around me, but recently I've been using the GHG Final Fix Hairspray. I'm nearly out of this now, it's massive. I just give it a really quick spritz, not too much because I'm aware that this probably has alcohol in and can be quite drying and damaging as well. So now I just go ahead and get another section. I use oils and shine mists and dry shampoo at the end as well so I'll show you what products I use for those in a sec. So on the top level I take slightly smaller sections and here you can go up quite a bit higher if you want so a couple more rolls of the barrel if that makes sense but again I try not to leave it on my hair for too long but it still leaves me with a gorgeous I don't know if you can see that curl 
without much effort at all. That was held on for like five seconds. And then for the fringe, oh my god, I really need a fringe trim, look at that, it's awful. Um, it's so much easier when it's a bit shorter to deal with, but for now I just grab hold of the barrel and kind of curl it outwards, like this. And that just kind of pulls it to the side like so. We obviously don't leave it like this because this looks far too perfect for me. My style is definitely a little bit more rough around the edges and lived in so I'm definitely going to do something with this after we've done the other side. I find that the GHD colours also just really smooth my hair as well, they give it a really nice glisten. I should also point out here that my hair Although it looks really in great condition, it's definitely starting to suffer, um, especially on this side. I don't know if you can see. So I wear my handbag on this shoulder, and I've definitely found that that has really made a difference on my hair and its quality. This side is a lot more damaged and a lot more broken, so I don't know if you can see this, but I have some real shorter like pieces of hair that don't match up to the actual length, um, and that is from either it getting stuck under my like handbag and it being pulled out, stuff like that. So yeah, I definitely need to sort this side out. It's a lot smaller than the other side. So that also means this side doesn't take as long to curl because there's not as much hair there, which is so sad. in place with some hairspray like so and then it is time for some dry shampoo which I always use even if I just wash my hair because I find it gives me a little bit more texture and volume in the roots I'm gonna use the wildflower one love the packaging of this this is from Batiste I just spray some into the roots especially around like the crown of my head and then just massage it in also like lifting up sections also makes my hair smell amazing which I really like And I also like to run some kind of oil or serum through the ends of my hair just to give them some love. I love and have been using the Moroccan oil treatment for so long, I nearly run out of this now. So I'm gonna take a pump of that and rub that in the ends of my hair. And I've also really been loving the new Soap and Glory range as well. They've released some hair care products. I still haven't tried the shampoo and conditioner. It's on my shelf of things I need to try. But I've been using the like styling products. This is the Wonder Serum. It says it's a 10 in 1 miracle worker, multi action leave in spray, anti breakage serum, improves appearance of damaged hair by conditioning, adding shine. Taming frizz, protecting against heat, detangling, smoothing split ends, so it has loads of different stuff on it. I like to just add this either when my hair is wet or dry, just add a couple of sprays and just run it through my hair, my hair with my fingers and this will break up any of those really harsh curls as well. And it smells amazing, this stuff is so beautiful. Just going to add a little bit of a brush through my hair. Thank you. 
and I love the kind of look that this gives me. It's like super glam, but really effortless as well. Um, so this is pretty much how I do my hair, but recently I've been adding more of a kind of half up, half down bouffante vibe to it. So for that, so for that, I take a brush or a comb and I kind of, starting like midway back, I sweep my hair backwards. And then with that, I kind of separate a bit of a section. Like so. I have no extensions as well, by the way. This is all my natural hair. And I'll either like put that in a pony here, which is like quite cute, half up, half down. Or I take a brush and back cream it, which isn't the best for your hair but it really does work to add volume. So it's more like that. Brush it back again. And then I take the hair clip I used to divide all my hair up. And simply just twist the, like gather the both sections, twist it, and then, et voila! So I don't know if you can see, but there's now a definite bit of a bouffon going on. And it's super easy. It just means separating a little section, back combing, and then clipping at the back. I'm gonna just spray my fringe in place. Stay. Oh my God, that went in my eye. And yeah, that's pretty much the finished look. I like how effortless and easy it is. It really doesn't take me long at all, but it always looks a little bit polished and glam. And yeah, I really like this. It's kind of like my style for sure. So I really hope this has been helpful to some of you who have wanted to copy this hairstyle. As you can see, it's super easy. I'll leave a list and a link to all the products I used down below. And stay tuned if you want to find out about the products I use to keep my hair really soft and in good condition, despite being bleached as well, because that'll be coming up super soon. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.